Hello, Randy. Oh, my God. It's you. I I'm so sorry. I know something bad's happened to you, but I just don't know what. I'm just a little confused right now. It's okay. I don't blame you. I don't blame you for anything now. It's not okay. Everything is a blur. You can come to me if you want. Can I touch you? Yes. You can touch me. I'm so cold. Numb, maybe. Don't know what. Everything will turn out fine. Trust me. Isn't that what you always used to say? Trust me? Yeah. By the way, what do you remember? Well, I know there was an accident. And just before the accident? We were going into that old house. You know, the one by the river? And something happened. The walls. No, the ceiling. Yes, it was the ceiling. What about the ceiling? It suddenly came down on us. That's it. The ceiling caved in, and I ran for the door, leaving you behind. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. You will forgive me, won't you? Yes, Randy. I forgive you. Why can't I remember what happened next? Maybe the shock? Shock? Wait. I went back to our house. I tried calling Ruby. I was afraid about what just happened to you, and I needed to know what to do. I can't remember if I called the police. Police didn't show up to the house until hours after the cave-in. Hours? Hours. This is going to sound strange. I, I can't remember if there was a funeral. No funeral. No funeral. Uh, I'm so sorry, Martina. Don't be sorry, Randy. Everything will turn out just fine. I know about Ruby. Ruby? What about Ruby? Maybe we should stop doing this. Shh. Martina will never know. We've been doing this for over six months now. She's my best friend. Sooner or later, she's going to catch us. Let me worry about Martina. She's one dumb girl. I can tell her anything, and she'll believe me. Are you sure? Trust me, I'm sure. It's not what you think. Then what was it? I, I love you, Martina. I don't know what I'm going to do without you. I, I hurt so bad inside. Don't change the subject. How many times have you brought Ruby up here? Are you thirsty? No, I'm not thirsty. Are you thirsty? No, not at all. So what's your story? You still love her? No, I never loved her. Never is a big word. Just like saying, I'll love you forever. Seems that forever only lasts six months. Wouldn't it just be easier to say, I'll love you for six months? What else do you remember, Randy? What do you mean? About Ruby? No, just about the accident. 
my mind is so fuzzy. I've done nothing but cry over you. Think, Randy. Think what you've done to me. Think what you've done to us. All I know is that you insisted that we go into the old house, and suddenly you disappeared when everything came down from the ceiling. Looks like some of your memory is slowly coming back to you. And over time, all of your memory will come back, and you'll always be sad when you think about me. I hope you're happy now. Tell Ruby I said hi. I still love you. What am I doing in this attic? I don't know, Randy. You always loved the attic. Isn't this where you hung out with my best friend? What was her name? Oh, yeah, I remember. Ruby? Do I have to answer all of your questions for you? No, you don't. In time, I'll remember everything. Right now, I can't even remember if I talked to Ruby after the accident. I know she hasn't been in this room since the accident. Don't be too sure. I'd remember if she'd been in here. As you've remembered me after the accident? I've cried over you. How many times did I have to tell you I've cried over you? I just can't remember everything right now. You're now on your own. You won't have to worry about me anymore. You're free to enjoy your new life. Will I ever see you again? No, only this once. There'll be no more contact between us. I only have one thing to ask you before we part. I'm listening. So, how is it? How is what? You know, being dead. You got it all wrong, Randy. I'm not the one that's dead. Mm -hmm.